Let's see, 8.50 the time. Here's a thought for you. Sunshiny, wind down the window, driving the car, put something on the radio. Texas comes you on. Know, you know that's what we had on... It's always going to be good, isn't it? You know that's it? what we had on this morning in the makeup room. Blasted out. Because, obviously, we love a bit of Texas. You've got the hit, I Don't Want to Love It. That was played this morning. Texas really showing no signs of slowing down. And the group celebrating decades of music with a Best Off album. And then... They're going to hit the Glastonbury stage next weekend. We are going to talk to Charlene Spiteri, lead singer, in just a moment. First, let's remind you of some of those fabulous hits. Charlene's with us now. Hello. Hello. Do you know, I was watching that video and you just went, oh, Alan, and I, I said to you, Maybe thoughtlessly, how lucky are you to have been able to do that video with Alan? You know, to be in his company and when you hear some yeah. amazing things about him. And then you just said, he was my friend. And yeah. I'm so sorry. No, it's just like, I, I, you know, I thought when you said that was just, I was so lucky to have had him as a friend and to have known him. And um, yeah, and it's funny because you still have to, it's funny when you lose people, like you still, you know, like, oh, Sometimes when he's on TV or something, you hear a movie or he's always yeah. on with Harry Potter and stuff, and you hear his voice and you just go, oh. I think it's... a lot of people, even lots of people, you know, those of us who didn't know him, mm. there's a bit of that always about him. Was he a Texas fan? He was. That's how he ended up in the video, because we were looking for someone that could dance a tango and we were having a meeting. And the whole meeting went round us saying, well, it has to be someone you believe would dance the tango. And um, Michael came and um, walked into the studio and we'd done a thing with him at the UN. And he was like, I was just on the phone to my great friend, Alan Rickman, who's a massive Texas fan. And everybody just went, Alan Rickman would dance the tango. And that was how, how and that we became, was done. that's how we became friends. Well, I'm going to give you another opportunity to name drop now. Oh, really? The Judy Dench moment. <laughs> I don't think I don't think we've got the pictures, but we'll you, try. do you want to explain for us? This is this is Christmas time, isn't it? Yeah, it was New Year in Scotland. We were um, I was pretty drunk. That's why I'm singing so low. Um, and we were just having a bit of a giggle, and Judy was on the automated. Uh, You're in a hotel. Yeah, and we were in a hotel yeah. celebrating New Year, and um, we had just brought the bells in, and um, the two of us were walking through, and Judy jumped on the piano, and and I followed, as you do. She's so naughty. She's so. And you did a number. Yeah, we did a little bit of a of a, an ABBA number. The Which we, did, we did Waterloo. Totally. Yeah, it was playing. We just two of us just were giggling. We didn't really imagine that I was going. We were going to wake up the next day on New Year's Day and because uh, someone had videoed it. Yeah, someone had videoed it and found ourselves. How, all over I'm, the I'm, news. I'm, I'm, I've, I enjoyed the video. How's she naughty? She's so funny. She's just really mischievous and fun and she's just a really fun person that just enjoys life. She's kind, she's wonderful, she's, you know, super smart and just, she's just great to be around, really great to be around. Are you friends with her? So she must think the same of you. Oh, she's just, she's just wonderful. Her and her partner, David, they're just like wonderful, wonderful people to be amongst. Let's talk about you going on stage. We, yeah. were, t we were sharing sharing kind of the audience, who you see out in the audience. You were talking about some of the husbands in the audience. Yeah, I, I love that. I always think when you see the husband that's been dragged to the Texas gig and, and they're in the audience kind of going, yeah, whatever. And I'm like, OK, now I'm going to get you. Because what, you, th you, over. you think they think you, you're poppy or, and kind yeah, of like and middle they, of the road? and Yeah, it's, well, they just kind of rolled a bit like, oh, you know, I'd rather go and see, you know, like a bloke band. Okay. And then they kind of... They get it once they we're finished. They kind of go, oh, wow. And presumably that depends on the size of the gig, because uh, in some venues you'll be able to see them very clearly. But oh, and you that... can see everybody oh. all over, even big. You know, look, when we do Glastonbury um, on Friday. Which you are this... this... On Friday coming, yes. yeah, we're doing Glastonbury. Um, you, you, can see, you can see so far, like, you see for miles. I mean, you're obviously not going to see loads of people, like, way, way, but you can just see people, and you pick out faces, and you pick out things that are happening amongst the crowd, and... It's just the best. Does it fly by Glastonbury? Because it's a limited set, isn't it? It's not. It's not it's like a, a full. It'll still be a forty-minute set. Right. I mean, you know, normally I'm, we're on stage for like a long yeah. time. It's normally like you know, an hour and a half, sometimes two hours. We're on stage, but um, yeah, it's it does it flies by because it's such a moment. I mean, the last time we played it was nineteen ninety nine, so I I am very much looking forward to getting oh. on that stage and playing the song. What was the weather like when you played then? dry. Oh, it looks like it's going to be the same. Fingers crossed. I imagine there'll be younger, newer artists for whom they're backstage at Glastonbury and their story will be 
I met Charlie Spiteri. And oh, shut up. Oh, no, no, there will be, you because you're with... established and you've been, you know, in the same vein, w was there a time, so 1999, is that when you were, so last played Glastonbury? Last time, okay. yeah, 24 so years ago. When you were backstage then, was there a moment when you were... Uh, and... Joe Strummer. Okay. I met Joe Strummer. I mean, massive Clash fan, and Joe was... Um, had come back and said he wanted to say hi because he'd heard... I had talked years before, because, you know, Joe Strummer was a massive influence, the Clash were a massive influence in our band, and um, I had said that when Rock the Casbah came out, I thought they were always singing Charlene Don't Like It. So he had I heard me... I still think yeah. they say that. I still think it's that's what they wrote, you yeah. know? <laughs> but um, that, so he came back to say hi. Ended up being in the sleeve notes for when they did, did the reissues. Did really? you sort of... Did you crumble? Or were, you, were you dignified or were you... Were you cool? I, yeah, I mean, it was like... It was just the best thing ever because, yeah, I was... You know, that's why I played Black and White Telecaster. Everson because of Joe Strummer. So yeah, it was it was a big deal for me to meet um, to meet him. Do are there is there anyone at Glastonbury you'd like to meet that you haven't met? Who's playing? Or you kind I'm of sure like... there'll be well there'll be loads of people. There'll be loads of people. Like big I'm names really or anything. For, I'm, that... I'm really looking forward to being there. I mean, it's a great day. We've got the Arctic Monkeys are headlining. There's a surprise secret gig that everybody knows who is, but I won't say on television. I don't. Um, I don't know. Oh, you don't know. Well, I can't tell you. I have to tell you when you're off. Is that with okay. you? No, it's not us, it's oh. not with us. Um, but so, yeah, it's um, on after us, so it'll be good. It's going to be a good day. And the enthusiasm you have, you, you and the, your band, you are your mates, aren't you? You've been together for a long time. Yeah, I mean, the great thing about our band is that we actually like each other. <laughs> yeah, we still like each other, so, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's a lot easier to, you know, do what we do when, when you're fine being around each other, because we spend... I mean, I literally came from France last night... Um, we're doing festivals all over Europe just now. And, um, yeah, it was... It's, you know, everybody's like, see you, see you on Monday, so... I was fully uh, expecting you to give us a... That's tea, by the way, in Yeah, the, in the cup. I, did I don't ask. know why uh, everybody uh, thinks it's something else. No, well, I didn't mean that. Because we I know just, what's in ours. I was fully expecting <laughs> oh, you to give okay. us a big slurp midway through the... Well, that was very quiet. Ah, no. I've got a big gob, but, you know, I'm quite, I'm quite, I'm quite ladylike when I drink my tea. I'm good on you for getting up, you know, to come on breakfast, cos you are like a rock pop, whatever stuff. I thought you were just going to say you're old. <laughs> I think we're probably the same age, so I probably wouldn't say it. I don't. <laughs> Have a great Glastonbury. It's going to yeah, be fun. Enjoy yeah, enjoy it. It's Thanks so much fun. for coming in. Like, no, thank you for having me. Uh, Texas, the very best of 1989 to 2023 is out today.